Hey, what's going on YouTube? I know it's been a little bit since I've kind of uploaded a video here, but uh, I thought I'd kind of give a give the uh, channel a new uh, some new content. So recently, the uh, J Concepts just released their Cadillac ATS V body, which uh, obviously is in the video. So I ordered that about two weeks ago. They had like a little mishap with their PayPal or whatever. Uh, and apparently, it wasn't even in the system. So Took it a little longer than I expected to get it, but uh, nonetheless, here it is. Um, I am, and, and I used uh, Spastics paint. Well, once again, I used their candy yellow, and then I used about two cans of that, which I, I like the Spastics paint. So if you ever uh, look into painting your next body, I would definitely give them a, a consideration versus like Tamiya because you get more to your more paint per can. And also, too, if you want, like, candy colors like this, uh, they definitely have a lot more options. So, this is, again, this is a candy yellow. I went through two cans of that, and then I used a silver metallic uh, backer. And then, obviously, the windows are tinted, so I used a, uh, I guess, like, their, I think it's, like, black window tint or something uh, to black out all the windows. I did leave the front uh, clear. Uh, you kind of see in there, but, but uh, yeah, I was... Super happy with it. Uh, it laid relatively well. Um, it's my first candy paint job. So, uh, yeah, looks pretty good. I like it. A lot of, a lot of flake in there, I guess. A lot of metallic. There you go. A little bit better of a... And, of course, I do have the chrome wheels up front. Um, I did have... Uh, I actually have some DE Gambler chrome wheels with their mini street outlaw tires and uh, I had those tried them out for a little bit uh, they worked great I mean I, don't, I didn't have any uh, any issues but preferably I, I do like my AKAs uh, just because I can run a deeper wheel and have a wider contact patch but that's just my preference um, and then uh, I'll take off the hood here oh and I did I was messing around with it on the street was it the other day and of course last pass um, and wanted to get a little squirrely and it already flipped and put some nice little little dings in the in the back window and scratched the wing um, also by the way this is a wing that I built uh, here at the house uh, came out came out okay um, I'm not a, obviously I'm not a professional wing builder but um, at least I can get the basics down to build what I want so and then I am running RCRI uh, 10 inch wheelie bar. So it definitely helps with, uh, you know, keeping the front wheels down over the, my previous wheelie bar. The one I built was, I mean, it was only, I think I measured it was like six and a quarter inches or something. So obviously, actually, I don't think it was that. I think it was closer to five and a half. But anyway, um, this is a lot, but obviously, you know, stiffer, better quality than um, Axiola links. So, Definitely a good upgrade on my part there. Um, I did have it a little lower, so I actually had to notch out the, the body too much. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's not, not a big deal. So, and you can kind of see the... I, I mounted up a fresh set of AKAs, so I can throw those on the on the street. But, uh... Digging the paint. I posted this on the, the couple of Facebook pages, and everybody loves this paint. Uh, so it was a, I think it was a good choice on my part. I'll show you what I did underneath. And then another thing too, I shortly noticed that the front end was too low and it already burnt through the paint. So that was fun. So basically what I did was I took some, some duct tape there and hopefully that'll help out. I did it in the rear too, just in case. But... And, um, I can't remember the last video <laughs> that I've uploaded, but I kind of go over what I, I kind of did here in the rear. I did, uh, just mount, I don't know, a little brace or whatever, just to give this wheelie bar a little bit more rigidity. Um, and I'm still running the nitro, uh, what is it? Nitro Fortech. There you go. Uh, rear arms kind of just mounted up, a little sway bar here in the rear. And I probably have to 
redo the bar. It's a little little wide for whatever reason, so I'll mess with that and get it a little bit more true. Um, mounted up a fan, a little integer fan. Works works pretty well. It blows some. Uh, let's see if I can hook it up here and show you guys. Ugh, this is always hard to do with one hand. So you can probably hear that. Of course, the other fan. Yeah, she's 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 a blowing. So, but yeah, that's awesome. And then I did upgrade the shock towers to some, I guess, STRC ones uh, to give it obviously more rigidity in the rear. Um, and then I'm running some RC8 Team Associated 16 mil big bores. Uh, that's got I got actually got two sets of these off of eBay. Had to build them from the ground up, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Bought two sets for like eighty, no, like seventy bucks. So thought that was a pretty good price for some some massive shocks. Um, they work pretty well. Um, I put a three point. Actually, they came with a five point five pound spring rate. I swapped those out for a three point three just to give it. Uh, that way, it's not as stiff. It has some sort of you know give. Um, that way, I'm not you know. Running, the, I have a little bit more uh, adjustability with the spring uh, right here, so I can mess with that. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, I trimmed down the body. I think I went over about last video. Um, oh yeah, I did upgrade the front too as well. So that's always nice. And then I did flip my my body post upside down because this for the reason this this body it it sits relatively it's short and fat. I guess is the best. Uh, best way to describe it um but uh but yeah i mean it's but once you have enough rc parts and stuff laying around you can kind of uh throw some stuff together but but yeah that's uh that's pretty much it that's the cadillac body um i am of course i think proline and uh J Concepts, they're having a, a body war with these street eliminators because um, Proline just dropped a preview of their, uh, what is it? So their 87 Malibu body. Can't get this thing to sit on here. There we go. There it is. Uh, give you a better look from far away. But yeah. There she is. I dig it. If you guys. What a pretty neat body is. I would say this is probably the best looking one that J Concepts has came out with uh, recently. Uh, it's, I would say it's pretty aerodynamic. I mean, it's pretty wide. It It's almost like a square. I think it's 11, 11 and a half inches wide up front and 12 inches in the rear. So it's pretty square. So, um, But I do have enough room. Uh, that's what kind of... It's actually wide, but... My front tire barely has enough room right here. It just looks like there's a bunch of dead space right here, but there's really not. I mean, the body's like right there. And the same thing with the rear, um, with these, with these wheels and tires. I have the a fat offset hex in the rear and these wheels are pretty wide. So it looks like there's a lot of room, but it's, it's actually not. So just fair warning. You might want to play with offsets, uh, of the wheels front and rear. Uh, I actually still have the front wheels up front with the narrow wheel hex, and I have a little rubber grommet on there just to push it on really far. I mean, these tire, these front tactic wheels actually have like no, uh, no offset, so they're pretty positive, so you can get those sucked in pretty pretty close. Or you can be probably smart and just run Bandit <laughs> front front uh, a arms. I was just stubborn and I just wanted to use what I had, so. But anyway, uh, thanks guys. I saw a bunch of new subscribers, so just let me know if you guys want to, you know, see anything else on the channel. Um, I do need to upload some actual like racing or I guess driving <laughs> of these cars on the street. That'd probably be helpful to kind of see these things move around a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or any comments, just you know, drop them down below. Um, hit the like like button subscribe and you can turn on the notifications to you know get the latest updates on whenever i upload but uh thanks again guys and i will talk with y'all later